Hey everyone. So I'm gonna be showing you how to transfer files uh, from your Kali Linux machine um, to Windows and then how to transfer files from Windows to Kali Linux. Okay, this is the easiest way I found possible. There's a few other ways you can do it via FTP, which didn't really work well for me because there's a few configurations you have to put in place in order for that to work. Um, but SMB is probably the easiest way. Now, this is uh, granted that you already have Impact installed. So if you don't have Impact installed, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you can go in and take a look at that link and get Impact installed. Uh, Impact it provides you a bunch of tools that you can use for penetration testing and even just trying to do like hack the box or try hack me. Okay. These tools are uh, extremely useful and you're going to find yourself using uh, multiple tools. One of them being the Impacket SMB server. Now this is the Impact SMB uh, server command I'm going to use. Now let's go ahead and go through this command really quickly. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click control C here and uh, just bring up that command. I'm kind of bring this up a little bit so you can see it right in the center. All right, there we go. All right, so what this is doing, and I have a bunch of terminals up, so uh, why don't we just make this one the center of everything? So we'll just put that right there. All right, so it's saying sudo impact it SMB server share and we're just using the SMB impact it. Now, if you have SMB impact it or um, impact installed already, uh, there's a bunch of Python scripts that uh, you can use. And so what you do is you do the dash and then just specify uh, which one of those scripts it's gonna end up using. Now, I don't have to put in sudo Python 3 impact it, you know, dash SMB server because um, I have this actually installed it's, and uh, you don't have to actually do that. Um, there are cases where you have to do that because the scripts don't work, but this isn't one of them. If the script's not working, uh, easy way to get around it is just to open up a terminal and just run the Python script or run the Ruby script that may be there. Uh, so we could do locate and pack it, or actually I'll just do this. SMB server, right? SMB server. And you can see I have uh, SMB server pi right here. I have another one here in my AD tools, the SMB server dot Python script. So I have quite a few of these. You know, you could either run the, the Python script. And in this case, I haven't have an exe, right? So you could have even a compiled version of the SMB server dot exe. Um, but if you have the uh, impact it like already installed then you don't have to run those commands every single time uh, from that location all right next you see share that's because we're starting smb share and the server message block uh, just to give you a quick understanding of that uh, it essentially enables us to share um, connect to a share and i'm pretty sure you've done this whether in school or at your job you connect to a share um, simply by putting in the server IP. And then after you put the server IP, you'll put like a uh, marking folder or IT dev, DevOps or something like that. And when you put that, it'll connect to that folder that's shared amongst uh, a group of people. Okay. And there's a server that's sharing those uh, resources up. Okay. So what we're doing is we're setting up our own share and this is allowing us to transfer files between Kali and Linux, uh, or between Kali and Windows, okay, very easily. All right, so then you see SMB2 support. So this uh, means that the Windows machine has to have the SMB2 support or uh, being able to be cap uh, compatible with SMB2. And our impact SMB server is going to provide that support so it can connect. Okay, next we have the location of the SMB share folder. Now, let me warn you here that doing this uh, can be a security risk. So, what you might want to do is uh, put this inside of your temp.
folder, the temp folder will automatically be like purged every so often. So every so often your, your system will just delete what's inside of it. Uh, so if you want to, you can just set up a temporary one. Um, and what I'd recommend is that you, in this case, uh, you can see I set up this, this FTP folder. The reason I put S FTP is because I was trying to get FTP to work, but it's, it's just chaotic. So if I do um, back in my temp folder right now, so the temp folder, it's writable. You can write to it, right? Somebody can map to your Kali Linux temp folder and write to it. So if I do ls-la, you can see that um, I've, this is the FTP temp folder. You can barely see the FTP there, but this is it right here. You can see I've set the permissions. So it's um, 777, which means that users, uh, the user I'm signing in, uh, the root user and the global users all have access to read, write, execute. That's not great. <laughs> but if you're just trying to transfer those folders over from your Kali Linux to Windows box, it's not a big deal because again, it's in the temp folder. It's going to be purged after a while. Um, you can delete the, the FTP folder after you're done with this and then um, go ahead and, you know, close your your SMB server, go ahead and, you know, cancel this command and then you should be good. Okay. But just for the time being, this, uh, this will do. So what we're going to do here is I'll just run through the commands you're going to go through, right? So uh, we'll just run through those commands again. So first, I'm going to assume that you're in your root folder. Okay, so from your root folder, go to your temp folder. Okay, and from your temp folder, do chmod 777, right? Or actually, mkdir, uh, we could just do mkdir uh, smb, okay, uh, folder. Okay, no spaces, just, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do Shamad 777 SMB folder. All right, and then we're gonna go inside the SMB folder. So SMB, SMB folder. So now we're going inside the SMB folder. We don't have anything in it, so I'll just create a. Mm, let's just nano test dot text. Okay, this is test dot text. This is a test, All right? I'll hold, I'll hit Control O to save it, and Control and then Enter, and then Controls X as an X-ray to close it. Okay, so Control October to save it, Control X-ray to close it. All right, now I do LS, and you can see I have the test dot text. Okay, so now from the Windows box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter, I'm going to go to network, then I'm going to enter the IP address. In this case, that's going to be the IP address of my Kelly box. I'll put forward slash forward slash IP address. Uh, let me go ahead and delete that right there. Delete that HTTP stuff. All right, so forward for slash forward slash the IP address of your um, of your of your SMB server. All right, and then right here we're gonna go ahead and actually start up the um, SMB server from that folder that we just created. So SMB folder. All right, and um, press that, and then you can see it's restarting it up. So we've created the folder. We've Assert, we're serving it up via SMB, and then here we're going to uh, map to that folder, right? So we go here, just map to it. So you go to network, and then you input four slash four slash the IP address, right? And then when you do that, see it's connected, it's authenticated, and another great thing is if you're trying to do hack the box or something you can intentionally do this and you'll get the hash of whoever's logged in if that's what you're aiming to do but in this case i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to get a file from windows to cali and from cali to to windows right 
So I click on the share here, it's going to open it up. There's the test.txt, I open it up. And um, I'll give that a second, it's going to open the document. Give that a second. You see this is a test. So great, we can transfer from Kali to, to Windows, but we could have done that with Python server, right? What we really want to do is transfer from Windows to Kali, right? That's the difficult part. Because you either set up a you know a Python server with Windows, which isn't installed by default, or you try to set one up with with PowerShell, which is gonna be a bunch of commands and not very fun. Uh, or easy, and this is the easiest one because guess what? I have this malware trying to get from Windows to Kali, so I can um, analyze it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just drop it here, and it'll copy it. And the reason it's going to copy it is because I've set the global users permissions to read, write, execute, right with the seven 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 command I did earlier. So now what I can do is I can uh, just open the folder and then I can go to my root directory here, go to my temp, go to SMB folder, and then there's the malware.exe that I can now um, analyze, right? So uh, that's how you do it, guys. I hope this video was helpful because I spent a good chunk of time trying to figure out how do I get stuff from windows to cali and everything i found was very complicated very time consuming this is quick this is easy i'm pretty sure this is going to help a lot of people so i uh, hope you enjoy this video please consider liking subscribing thank you very much danny out